without further ado, this is my 2016 Dodge Ram Eco Diesel. So it's basically got a six cylinder diesel engine uh, boosted by turbo. And the one really good thing about it, actually I shouldn't say the one really good because overall this truck has been really, really good to me. There are some um, reviews on forums um, that uh, basically state that this truck has had an uh, inordinate amount of engine failures. But when you take a look at the overall number, which is in the you know hundreds of thousands sold, the percentage is actually pretty small. So it may or may not have some issues with the engine, but that remains to be seen. I'm currently at 87,000 miles um, and I haven't had too many problems. The one problem that I have had, and it was about a couple of weeks ago, I had to replace the water pump due to a leak. And the way I figured this out is um, I've started to notice a nice little sweet coolant smell coming from uh, the engine compartment as I was walking by and also noticed my little the gas bottle, the little excess uh, coolant bottle um, starting to get low. So I started putting coolant in it and uh, noticed that uh, it consistently became low over the, over a couple of weeks. I wouldn't say it was a bad leak, but over a couple of weeks it would uh, go down about an inch. This is a fairly common problem uh, with these eco diesels. They have had some uh, coolant loss, not only from uh, my problem, which happened to be the uh, water pump, but uh, from other issues. Um, just go ahead and take a look at uh, the Ram forum. It's the Ram 1500 Eco Diesel. If you type that in Google, it'll take you to the forum. It's a pretty good resource for um, owners to go check out things. So, uh, back to the Ram. It's treated me really well, so I'm not going to put it on blast. Uh, the problem I mentioned was the uh, um, water pump that failed. I replaced that under warranty. And overall, it's been uh, problem free. I did, um, however, and I'll show you guys, have a, uh, I do my own oil changes at home with uh, a uh, nice uh, little pump, a pressure pump where I, where I stick the dipstick in, I stick the, the little hose into my dipstick and suck all the oil out and uh, get, uh, so I don't have to go down below and uh, undo the, uh, the bolt. The reason I, I'm doing that now is because after about the third oil change, I had a uh, problem where I stripped the threads on the uh, uh, bolt and had to replace the whole oil pan. So when doing that, um, I went ahead and uh, decided to go with the uh, AFE um, pan, which is... Uh, a little bit bigger so it takes about it takes three full gallons of uh, the uh, shell Rotella T6 oil um, as opposed to the uh, ten and a half quarts that were previously in the other uh, oil pan so it does take a little bit more oil but uh, it has some other benefits um, if you read them online you know extra cooling etc um, so I'm pretty happy with it no problems um, and uh, no more having to deal with those really weak um, bolts that were on the previous pan, which is steel bolt on an aluminum pan, which if you're not really careful, if you go anywhere beyond the recommended torque, um, you can strip those fairly easily. So overall, a good truck, not on blast. It's actually, the gas mileage on this is, uh, I'm averaging about, Mm, I would say 23 miles per gallon and that's in the city because I work mostly in the city so I drive on average of probably 20 20 25 miles per day in the city I'm getting about uh, you know say I'd say anywhere between 22 and 25 on the highway if you're driving you know 65 conservatively you could get tw I've, I've seen 28 to 29 on my truck there are some guys out there especially on fuelie.com where uh, guys have been getting you know 30 31 sometimes even more and sometimes less um, but overall i'm very pleased with the truck i put it a, i i added this uh nice uh, toolbox that i hold all my uh 
nursing supplies as my job is a nurse. Um, I think it looks pretty good. I do a lot of fishing with it. Um, I have a pro angler that fits uh, quite snug in the back, but it works. Um, no other real modifications. I have the cloth interior. Let's take a look here. Cloth interior with uh, the gray cloth interior, which is holding up pretty well to, uh, to wear. Like I said, I have about 87,000 miles on the truck and uh, still runs really good. Um, one other problem I've had with the truck is the uh, radio or the uh, Uconnect. Uh, it's sometimes, mostly when it gets really hot outside, it decides to flash in and out. It turns itself off and turns itself back on. Um, does that, you know, every now and again. Not a real big deal, but, you know, I'll say out there, you know, it's for an 80, you know, for a $50,000 truck, that probably shouldn't be happening. Um, just my two cents on that. So anyways, if you have any uh, questions or comments, you know, feel free. Um, happy to answer any questions. Uh, but this Ram 1500, not on blast. It's a good truck. It's a really good truck. I'll show you guys... Uh, a little uh, video of the uh, oil pan in case you want to uh, go with that uh, be careful if you have a two-wheel drive model the pan that is on Amazon read the reviews and it will not fit on a two-wheel drive model however it does fit on a four-wheel drive which uh, in my case this is a longhorn four-wheel drive so I'll show you a quick shot of the oil pan so you can see how it looks like and um, uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Well, guys, this is the pan. As you can see, is the AFE power. Um, it's not a very good shot. It's, I don't have a truck up on the lift. But um, this is the one I installed after. All right, well, this is the uh, engine compartment. Um, as you can see, this is what I was uh, noticing the problem. This particular, there's a cold fill line, which is right up here. And there's the, uh, the range to the cold fill to the low is uh, just about, I don't know, about an inch. So when I was noticing my coolant leaking, this would consistently go over the period of two weeks from cold filled down to about uh, an inch below that. Every two weeks I'd have to put about a, an inch in. So overall I probably put close to a gallon in over uh, a month or so. Um, but, um, to take it into Dodge and, uh, they, uh, did, uh, figure out it was the water pump and they fixed, fixed that free of charge under warranty. So good job, Dodge. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention was I do my oil changes via the, uh, suctioning. Uh, I stick a tube down the, uh, oil check right there and, uh, suction out all the oil and I usually get most of it out and last thing for you guys that don't know which you probably already know by now uh, the 5w40 is the recommended viscosity of the oil in these trucks and they recommend shell Rotella t6 I'm sure you could use other things but you know I'd probably stick with the recommended viscosity since they've probably done a little bit of their research and maybe it does have to do with the fact that an inordinate amount of engines have spun bearings. Maybe that's why they changed it. Who knows? Um, but that's a truck. If you have any questions, let me know. GoPro, turn, stop video. GoPro, stop video.